Hey, welcome to the Steel Lounge. Today we're checking out one of my favorite game series, the three original Mass Effect games. We'll be doing some configuration steps in the beginning of the video and then diving into the settings for each of the three games so you can play optimally. Let's jump into it. I don't record footage for this part, but here's my recommendation. When you run Mass Effect for the first time, run it in desktop mode. It will prompt you to install Origin, and it's easier to go through this process in the desktop mode for the Steam Deck. Alright, now we got the game installed on the desktop mode. Let's go change some controller settings. So this will be the default setting, gamepad with joystick trackpad. And this is actually going to be as joystick as default. Now if you want to use the right trackpad as the joystick, that's fine. Personally, I would recommend setting it as mouse. And if we go to edit layout here, and go to the trackpads now, let's go ahead and add a mouse click, a left mouse click for the command. So when we have our thumb on the right trackpad, we'll use that as a mouse and they can use the right stick to actually interact with the game's launcher. You can't actually use the controls on the Steam Deck to interact with the game launcher. You have to use the touch screen. And I'm not exactly sure why this is. It probably is just some glitch. All right, here we are in the game launcher now, and I'm able to interact with it by just using the right trackpad instead of using the touch screen. And this is really nice for me because I'm outputting to an external monitor, and for the Steam Deck, you can't actually use the touch screen very effectively on the external monitor because the mapping becomes like flipped sideways. So if I go down here to settings and I click in on the right thumbstick, trackpad rather, you can see it actually brings up the option menu, which is super nice because before it would all be the touch screen. So this is a much cleaner approach. Let's go ahead and launch into Mass Effect 1. First I want to apologize. My capture card could not capture this Mass Effect footage at 40Hz, so I had to capture it using my camera. Now regarding performance, Mass Effect 1 got the biggest facelift out of any of the games in the Legendary Edition. At max settings and native resolution, the game can hit a pretty steady 60fps on the Steam Deck. However, you can see the battery life here is quite a bit worse using 60fps. There are also occasions when it'll drop frames below 60 during some heavy combat sequences. Both the 60 and 41 will drop some frames when loading sequences. That happens in the Mass Effect games in general when you walk into a new area or some sequence is about to play out. Both of these are very pleasant to play in handheld, but personally I would go with the 40 FPS side. This game isn't very fast paced, it's arguably the slowest out of all the games in the trilogy, and you can get that better battery life on the go. Onto Mass Effect 2, most commonly regarded as the best game in the series. Once again here, we're running at the Steam Deck's native resolution with max settings. Battery levels here aren't exactly similar, but the performance for the battery on the 40fps version is quite a bit better. Mass Effect 2 seems like the easiest game to run out of the bunch, and locks 60fps basically all the time from what I tested. There's a few effects heavy sequences later on here that will drop the fps, but overall it seems pretty good. Once again, Mass Effect 2 has reproducible frame time spikes on the Steam Deck across both versions, and even on my PC that has a 3090 I notice these frame time spikes, but they're not anything too bad, it's just when you load into a new area, so it doesn't affect gameplay too much. Finally, we move on to Mass Effect 3, running at max settings and native resolution. This definitely seems like the hardest game to run out of the bunch, and Mass Effect 3 does have the highest visual fidelity. A lot of effects are going on, a lot of set pieces are happening compared to the other two games. Here, I basically would only go with the 40 frames per second version, unless you wanted to drop some settings or maybe the resolution, but even then, I think the 40Hz version is just superior. You're going to get a better battery life and a very consistent frame time with these settings.
It's a dream come true to have that Mass Effect series playable on a handheld, even more so that it's a Legendary Edition with the graphical enhancements. 40Hz is the sweet spot for the whole series on the deck. The games aren't too fast, 3 is the fastest pace and 1 is the slowest, but they're all still very playable at 40Hz. If you want more videos just like this one, please check out my channel and subscribe. Have a good one.